water uh, as, as a very safe drinking water. I hope we are successful in that because otherwise we have no options. Either you drink polluted water, uh, surface water or arsenic contaminated uh, uh, underground water. So we are caught in between. So we are trying to find a new way out. Uh, we introduced uh, health insurances as a part of our uh, package of uh, microcredit package. And we were very successful. It, all we had to do was to uh, put uh, about um, one euro and a half per year per family as a premium for health insurance so that you are under coverage of health uh, coverage. And we had the doctors, we had the nurses, we had the paramedics uh, into the area so that everybody can have a health service. And it was working well. We had about 38 such uh, spots in Bangladesh providing healthcare services under health insurance program packaged within microcredit programs. And people were very happy and we were very happy and we are achieving the sustainability of them so that it covers all its cost by the way we operate. And it was a fantastic experience that uh, charging dollar in, uh, sorry, uh, one euro and a half, you can cover all your cost uh, with a doctor and everything. But the problem we have uh, faced is not because of the financial side, we face the problem with the doctor side. We cannot keep the doctors in the villages. Uh, they would like to settle down in the big cities, particularly in the capital city, uh, because that's where the success is, that's where the money is. Uh, so this is one another struggle that we are going through in, in our next phase of our activity we will try to create a parallel program, so like a microcredit. Microcredit brings the uh, financial services to the poorest people. We are trying to build a parallel system where healthcare system will be brought to the poorest people in an affordable way. Uh, so in that we are creating, uh, in the process of creating a medical college and hospitals and training grounds, nursing colleges and so on, so that we create our own doctors. So who will be staying, hopefully, we will build the system in a way that they can retain those doctors and give them a career path so that they see that the, uh, the rest of the life they don't have to spend wherever they started out with. This will be one stop and then the next stop and gradually they move upwards as a career path. So healthcare is an essential thing to do that, uh, so that we can do the parallel part of the whole thing. So with the Millennium Development Goals, you have both. You have the income, we have the poverty reduction, and you have the uh, question of uh, health issues. So we see uh, we, this is a good year for reviewing our achievements and our purposes, what we want to go. And microcredit uh, would be a very important item to link them together. And because of the food shortages, one issue again will become uh, much discussed in the ministries and uh, also in the newspapers and the policy making debates. How do you increase the food productivity? Uh, because there's no escape from that. As, as we kind of take pleasure and happiness uh, that the people are coming out of poverty, uh, at the same time, it's uh, creating new demands on food items. Because as you come out from poverty, uh, for the first time you try to uh, enjoy your life a little better than you did before. And one of the enjoyment that you want to do is to eat a little better. In the process of eating a little better, you are eating more than uh, totality of the food. Uh, what you consumed before now has to be more than used to be. So the same amount of production cannot sustain the same amount of people anymore. So this is one of the reasons, uh, one of the several reasons uh, what created this problem for us. So instead of taking it as a kind of negative factor, let's proceed as a positive thing. Why not enjoy their life when they come out of poverty, at least a slightly better food. Uh, we would be concentrating on the production of food crops and agriculture and so on. And un unfortunately, production of food crop is uh, uh, the financial system which connects the production of food system, what we call agricultural banking, didn't proceed very far. So probably we need to bring microcredit experience into the agricultural bank, uh, bank, uh, banking uh, sector also to move that. And not only it's limited to our, exp our experience into the agricultural sector, uh, Honorable, Honorable Minister, you mentioned about the subprime crisis and the crisis that the banking world has created. This is also relevant for us 
because uh, it is the most sophisticated banking in the world which created the subprime crisis. And in that subprime crisis, uh, we are in the process of writing off some $1 trillion because banks didn't do a good job at that. Uh, with all their collateral, with all their smart lawyers who are doing the business, uh, still uh, this is not a good news that the banks couldn't uh, uh, do the right kind of job. So this again opens up the whole subject of banking in a fresh new way. If microcredit without collateral, without guarantee, without any lawyers can get back their money near 100%, What's, what's so great about the conventional banking with all the lawyers and all the collateral cannot do business, have to give away some trillion dollars. So this is a time to review the whole thing, revisit the whole issue, what should be the banking, how we design our banking. So all these issues came at a time. Uh, now we have to address this in a much more serious way than we did before. And I'm very happy here in Spain, the savings bank took microfinance very seriously. And thanks uh, the Kaisha for uh, taking microcredit so seriously. And uh, again, thanks to uh, your leadership, your majesty, because you inspired all the banks here in this country to devote itself. And uh, this will lead us uh, to our next level. And I was very happy to see the director of Casa Africa that reminded me in the last uh, G8 meeting in Heligendam, a decision was taken to create microfinance fund for Africa. It was a decision which was announced. I read it in the newspaper, we discussed about it, but I don't see any progress on that. Uh, I never heard any step has been done in creating microfinance uh, fund for Africa yet. So I would remind, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, to see what is happening on that one, because uh, in Africa needs that fund very badly, particularly at this time of, uh, of the situation. And we had elaborated this uh, whole idea, presented it to the G8 leaders at the Heligan meeting, and the decision was taken. But it's now next G8 meeting is coming up in Japan. But uh, we have not heard uh, anything concrete coming emerging out of it. I hope something will be announced, something will be, will be happening so that we can move forward. And thank you very much for organizing this seminar, uh, uh, this forum for microcredit.